Ever wondered if computers could be made of living molecules instead of silicon and wires? Well, welcome to the captivating world of biomolecular computing, a realm where biology meets technology. Let's imagine our computers not as clunky machines but as dynamic systems of living, breathing molecules. It's a bit like shifting from a world of typewriters to an era of sleek laptops, only this time the transformation is even more profound. Biomolecular computing is a revolutionary field that uses biological molecules like DNA and proteins to perform computational calculations and data storage. You might ask, how can molecules do the work of a computer chip? Well, let's break it down. Imagine a regular computer. At its heart is a chip, a tiny piece of silicon that processes information and performs calculations. Now replace that chip with a strand of DNA or a protein molecule. These biological molecules, just like the chip, can store and process information. They can be programmed to perform specific tasks, much like writing a software program for a computer. DNA, the blueprint of life, is an incredible data storage device. A single gram of DNA can hold as much information as 14,000 Blu-ray discs. On the other hand, proteins, the workhorses of our cells, can act like tiny machines, processing information and carrying out tasks. But this isn't just about shrinking computers down to the molecular level. Biomolecular computing opens up a whole new universe of possibilities. Imagine computers that can self-replicate, self-repair, and even evolve over time. Or think of a world where we can program cells to detect and fight diseases from within our bodies. In this mind-boggling fusion of biology and technology, we aren't just mimicking nature, we're harnessing its power to compute. So in essence, biomolecular computing is the art and science of using life's building blocks, DNA and proteins, to compute. Now, let's dive into the world of these tiny yet powerful players, DNA and proteins. You see, DNA and proteins are like the superheroes of biomolecular computing. DNA, with its double helix structure, is the master of storage. It's like a super compact hard drive, capable of storing an enormous amount of data in an incredibly small space. Imagine a library packed into a pinhead. That's the power of DNA. On the other hand, proteins are the problem solvers. They're like the computer's processor, taking in information and making decisions. They can change shape and function based on the information they receive, just like a computer program adjusts its output based on input. Picture a game of charades. The actor, the protein, changes its actions based on the clues it receives, the DNA. The audience, the cellular machinery, then interprets these actions to perform specific tasks. With DNA and proteins at the helm, biomolecular computers can be incredibly versatile and efficient. So, where can we use these biomolecular computers? Well, the possibilities are as vast as they are exciting. Imagine a world where we can use living, breathing molecules to monitor our health. Biomolecular computing can be a game changer in healthcare, enabling us to personalize medicine like never before. For instance, a biomolecular computer could potentially analyze your DNA, identify genetic risks, and recommend personalized treatments tailored to your unique genetic makeup. But that's not all. Biomolecular computing can also play a pivotal role in environmental monitoring. Picture a sensor made of DNA or proteins that can detect harmful pollutants in the air, water, or soil. Such sensors could provide real-time data, allowing us to respond to environmental threats swiftly and efficiently. Moreover, this technology could be immensely beneficial in fields where conventional computers struggle. Biomolecular computers could, for example, help us solve complex mathematical problems or optimize logistics in ways that are currently beyond our grasp. And what about the potential applications that we haven't even thought of yet? As we continue to explore and understand this technology, new and exciting opportunities are likely to emerge. Biomolecular computing thus holds the potential to transform our world in unimaginable ways. Let's keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible and who knows what marvels we might uncover in the process. But like any technology, biomolecular computing also faces its fair share of challenges. Firstly, scalability poses a significant hurdle. It's like trying to build a skyscraper with Lego bricks. While it might be possible, it's certainly not easy or efficient. Similarly, while we can create these biomolecular computers, doing so on a large scale is an entirely different ballgame. Secondly, there's the issue of error rates. In the world of traditional computing, error rates are incredibly low, but in biomolecular computing the error rates are much higher. 
It's akin to a game of telephone where the message often gets distorted as it passes from person to person. This is a crucial area for improvement, as high error rates could lead to incorrect results or system failures. But don't fret. These challenges are not insurmountable. Researchers are tirelessly working on potential solutions and future developments to overcome these hurdles. For instance, advancements in nanotechnology could help us scale up biomolecular computing, and improvements in error correction algorithms could help reduce error rates. Furthermore, developments in synthetic biology could even allow us to design and build our own biomolecules tailored for specific computing tasks. This could drastically improve the performance and versatility of biomolecular computers. Despite the challenges, the future of biomolecular computing looks promising, opening doors to new scientific breakthroughs and innovations.